The search for cures to human illness and disease has been one of the most significant activities throughout recorded history. People often forget that not that long ago, flu or a common cold um, could have been a death sentence. And without medical research, most of the drugs that we commonly use and take for granted would not be available. Scientists across the globe are undertaking a concerted effort to try and better understand childhood illness with the idea of generating better therapies. My name is Patrick Walsh. I'm a paediatric immunologist. The area of research that I'm interested in involves trying to understand basic mechanisms surrounding inflammation. So any discoveries that we're likely to make in the context of switching off the inflammatory response are likely to have implications in a whole range of diseases. We have a world-class facility aligned with Our Lady's Children's Hospital in Crumlin with a common goal aimed at treating childhood disease and that involves daily interaction between scientists at the bench and physicians who are actually treating the kids. When you see kids coming and going from the hospital, sometimes often very ill, it really focuses the mind and allows you to stand back and makes you realise how blessed you are when you have a healthy child because the alternative really isn't something that you want to contemplate. The NCRC itself is a relatively small centre in international terms, but I think the outputs from it consistently have demonstrated that it really is punching above its weight. The exciting breakthroughs that we're currently making and will make in the future is totally dependent on funding. Not a lot of people realise only four cent in every research euro in Ireland is currently spent on trying to understand or better understand childhood disease. But that is significantly enhanced through the efforts of the Children's Medical Research Foundation. So when we do find something that can be of benefit, the effects can actually be enormous. Not only are you curing children at present, but you're also benefiting future generations of kids as well through those discoveries. We're ready to write the next chapter in children's health, but we need your help.